Hello, it's Marie. I'm back today with a very random and fun project. So sometimes I start things and then I just don't continue them for a year. So last year, around the time when summer started, I started a project because I thought resin is see-through and you can color it. So it's like sunglasses. It's a great conclusion to make in your brain. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to make fun shaped sunglasses out of resin that don't work as sunglasses because I don't think resin really protects you against the sun. But more like as a fashion thing. And then I started working on it and it took me a long time because it was really complicated. I could have done it in an easier way, but I didn't. Fun. But so... I kind of left it lying around for a year, it didn't really work out, they don't look the greatest, they kind of fall apart But I thought, okay, I'm still gonna finish it And now I have a bunch of beautiful, kind of cool, kind of not so great sunglasses that don't work as sunglasses and you can't even really see through them But it's fun, so let's go! Woo! So let's go. So I'm taking some of my old sunglasses as a reference for the size of the glasses and I'm taking a cup that has around the right size as the sunglasses and I'm drawing some circles on paper so I can sketch out my ideas. First of all, a fried egg, that was my first idea, and then something like a moon, maybe this, what I'm drawing now, is supposed to be a kind of cute anime-inspired eye. With some sparkles in there, I thought that would be cute. And then, of course, I love Pokemon and I had the idea of doing Ditto sunglasses because that's my favorite Pokemon. And look at that, look at that little guy. Ain't he cute? And next up, I thought of some kind of cat head. You can also see this Animal Crossing leaf I did above it, but I threw that idea away because it didn't work with the shape of the sunglasses. I'm also drawing a little planet. And here I am drawing some kind of snake, because I thought that would look cool. I think these snake-shaped sunglasses also already exist. But yeah, I just thought it would be fun to do my own spin of it. Next up, I thought half a watermelon, or well, a quarter of watermelon would also be cute. So I'm doing that. It was just a slice of watermelon. And what I'm doing here is a kind of cherry blossom, because I like card capture the Sakura a lot. And so I just felt inspired to do a cherry blossom. This next up is gonna be a lemon slice. It's not gonna look very good, but it is a lemon slice. Very ugly one. That's okay. Then again, Card Capture Sakura inspired. I did this kind of wing shape, this kind of anime style wing, because that would, would be cute. And then lastly, a cloud with some raindrops and a thunderbolt. So then I decided to digitalize my ideas, do them all pretty and neat as vector illustrations using Affinity programs and then because then when I have them as nice images I can use my Cricut, my cutting machine to cut them out. This is shrink plastic, I decided to use that because I think that would just fit really well. It's nice and sturdy and nice and smooth too but still thick so yeah it's gonna work well. This is the cutting machine, the Cricut, beautiful. So I put the shrink plastic on one of the cutting mats. I slotted my knife in there, put the cutting mat in there. And then I started cutting. So here's the lemon slice. I have to pop these little things out of there. I had to do a lot of rounds of cutting to get through the thicker material. I also got this pretty shot. But it was fun. I like watching the machine cut. It's fun. This is the actual speed. It's not very fast. And then after it's done cutting, I'm getting the mat out there. And look at that! Of course these are huge since they're gonna shrink in the oven to about 50% of the size, so I had to make them bigger. And then I'm peeling the remaining bit of shrink plastic from around there so I can get all the pretty little designs. This was a struggle with one hand. Could have put the camera down, but I didn't. 
and then I threw them on a baking sheet all nice and stuff and here you can see the shrinking process this is sped up eight times but yeah it's just fun to watch I love this just watching them shrink down and then flatten in the end and being all pretty here you can see it again here for the cherry blossom I did a ring around it so it would stay in the right shape when it shrinks and it doesn't get all deformed but yeah fun stuff so then I sent them off for quite a few not just the cherry blossom but for also for some other ones I did little pieces of extra plastic so they would keep their shape and I just sanded that off real quick then I'm getting some containers that I have and I'm putting them all in there trying to get as much of the space as possible because we don't want to waste any silicon and then I'm using some Vaseline to stick them on there so as little silicon as possible gets under there and then I'm getting my cup my scale my silicon and the cup is not dirty I know it looks awful that's just concrete powder that I left in there and then I used resin in there so the resin sealed in the concrete powder and yeah now it's stuck there forever but it's not dirty I promise so I'm mixing up the silicon just a thin layer and putting it up top of there beautiful repeating that for all the other dishes as well and then the next day they're complete so I'm taking a knife around the edges to loosen it and then pulling it out beautiful look at that it's great and here we are then I still got some excess silicon around the edges so I'm cutting that off with some small scissors pulling the shrink plastic pieces out of there and you might think hey why didn't you just use the shrink plastic thingies as sunglasses well they're not they're really not see-through at all I think there are some shrink plastic types out there that are see-through but I don't know where to find them and yeah I wanted to make a lot so I guess I made molds here are all the molds that I made it's a lot I didn't use all of these for most of them and then I'm just mixing up some resin and coloring it in and all the different colors I need I made a lot and I made a lot that I didn't use because the colors were too strong and you couldn't see through them so you're gonna see a few here that later on just get discarded but yeah I'm filling them all in here you can again see the animal crossing leaf that I discarded later but this was this was fun I don't know I, I liked it and I got so many cute shapes it, it was a lot of trial and error not just to get the color right but also to get the size right I made a lot of these shrink plastic charms until I got size for each of them that I was happy with all in all this process just took so long and here are all the charms looking cute love demolding them it's just satisfying to see them and most of them turned out really well really pretty then I also set it off a little bit but I didn't show that and then for these ones like the lemon slice I have to fill them in with more resin so I'm sticking them on some of this sticky tape and then just filling it in with the right resin and then peeling it off ah that was satisfying that was really good I enjoyed that same with the watermelon I kind of assembled the green piece and the red piece of it and then I just filled it in with the white transparent resin for the little white border peeling it off again <laughs> good stuff and the egg filling it in with some yellow for the egg yolk and once again peeling that was just good I like that I like that a lot and then for the planet I basically assembled it again on a piece of tape and then just covered it with a thin layer of UV resin that I put in this nail polish bottle for easier use. And here we go. Fun. 
looking beautiful. So then, to actually make sunglasses out of it, I considered making the frames myself out of, I don't know, wire or maybe more resin. But instead, I just bought a lot, a lot of very cheap glasses. These don't have any prescriptions in them. These are just, it's not even glass. It's just pieces of plastic. They're just, you know, fashion glasses. And so what I did is I popped out the lenses like this. I kept them because, you know, maybe you can craft something with them. And then cutting off the frame pieces or cutting them into pieces and yeah. I basically just need these side pieces and then the piece in the middle that rests on your nose. I don't know what any of this is called. Very professional. And then just using UV resin, which doesn't work super well because it can very easily break off. UV resin and metal isn't the best combination. But still, I used UV resin to stick it on there, all the pieces. Now I did this crooked a few times so they don't open properly and they often broke off and I had to reattach them and basically this whole process was just not the most fun to be honest. And here's another one, black cats that I made. I think the black, black cats are really cool. Again, I'm attaching all the pieces one by one. A different example this time with gold frames. Yeah, I bought silver frames, gold frames and black frames and then kind of mix and match them with the different charms. Because, you know, I thought it would just be fun to have a bit more variety. And then lastly, these ones, these clouds, these required a little bit more work. I had to drill in some holes so I can attach the raindrops and the thunderbolts. That was my idea, basically. And yeah, I'm not showing the process of every single one of these sunglasses else the video would be two hours long and yeah, I don't think anyone wants to see that. But I drilled in the holes and then I cut off little pieces of this chain to attach the little chumps. So they're basically dangling off the cloud. I attach them all and then once again just attaching the pieces of the frames gluing on the nose bridge thing, curing it in between, and then attaching the, the frame thingies. These are all the sunglasses I made in the end. Nice and colorful and fun. I think if you look at them now, just all of them at once, they look really cool. But yeah, the quality isn't the greatest. They are, they are very rough around the edges. There, the, the gluing job is not very professional, but still, just looking at it like that looks cool, right? It's fun. So let's try them on. Okay, here we are. So I got my bunch of sunglass sunglasses here. Let's just start out with the first one. These are the only ones I finished last year before I was like, no. So here we go. I actually fit with my makeup. Ta-da. If I move them all the way up my eyes, I mean, I can't see through them. I just can't see very well. I don't know where my camera is, so I hope you can see this. But these are the planets. Are they cool? Do I look cool? Do I look stupid? Probably stupid. When I made these resin pieces last year, I didn't think about the fact that, you know, this side is open, so I can't really glue the frame to it. So it's a, the moons are now crooked and yeah. But the good part about these is, is I can see a bit more. I can see through them. I can see through the moon holes that are not actually holes in real life. It's just the shadow, but you know, I can see well, but I can see great. I feel like all of these, if you made them in a better way, they would be really damn cool. And now these ones. These ones, as I mentioned, are obviously inspired by Cardcaptor Sakura, which is my favorite anime and manga. And these are actually really cute. Now these are kind of cool. Yes. 
again i can actually see through these i can actually see through these pretty damn well these ones actually they weren't really actively inspired but now that i'm thinking about it they remind me of crowley from good omens i love these actually these are cool so next up let's go for the ditto ones ditto is my favorite pokemon so i just had to make these and the color on these ones is really transparent oh Oh, I can actually see through them really well. So yeah, this is this is ditto. I really don't know what I look like with these on, so I'm excited to look at the video footage. Do I at least look a little bit cool? I hope so. These ones I feel like are also gonna work. Yes, okay, okay. This is cool. These, these are cool. Wow, I can feel my eyelashes bumping against them, but... To wear them like this is this cool is this fashion i don't know anything about fashion as you can see i'm still stuck in my emo phase from when i was 13 year old it, it never left it's not a phase anymore it's just my life then next up let's go for these anime eyes i thought this was a really good idea but yeah again i just wish i knew a way to make actual cool sunglasses because that would be amazing probably you can't really make out the shape very well on my skin tone the cherry blossoms no this is totally not inspired by card capture sakura as well this is gonna snap off it feels like it wow they sit on my face so crooked oh my god mm, this is this is good but yeah again God kept us like we're inspired. I just can't help myself. I just love that. There's a tree outside my window. When I move my head like that, it just... Wow. It looks like when you use the liquify option on Photoshop. But yeah, fun! I don't know why I sound so sarcastic when I say that. The lemon slices, which I also think is a great idea. I have great ideas. Terrible execution, but great ideas. Oh wow! Okay, I can I can see through them really well. Fun. I like these. Next up, another one that I chose to do because I like the aesthetics. Eggs, fried eggs. Yeah, I can't see shit through them. Wow, I see nothing. I still think these are cool. They all look cool. Yeah, got eggs on my eyes. Yeah. So these ones I also love. I just, I mean, they're black. It's cool. And I feel like I probably don't look 100% stupid in them. Maybe I do. Please do tell me. Okay, the last ones, my favorite ones, because I just, the idea is cool. It got so much detail in it, so that's great. Again, these are ones that you can probably wear best on the tip of your nose so you can see over them but I just like the little detail of the thunderbolt and the little raindrops ah oh, yes it's great when they hit you in the face but yeah these ones are just cool like this they probably look dumb is that cool or what it's cool why do I sound like that yeah so these are my sunglasses that neither work as glasses nor against the sun fashion statements but yeah so this was fun this was a lot of work for very mediocre results and i learned a lot of things mainly that you can't make sunglasses out of resin i'm gonna go back to using my normal sunglasses but yeah i hope you enjoyed this maybe maybe you learned a thing or two so i hope you have a good day take care stay safe stay happy Bye bye